All right, let's talk a little bit more about what it takes to create a proper dungeon. Um, first of all, when you're playing this and you open the book, well, that looks like a mess. Um, let's make it full screen, then open the book. Okay, it says level one unnamed. Now that's not very cool. So what we need to do is go back here to this level one in the project and go to properties and let's give it a name the nasty sewers and I guess let's capitalize that and we can pick whether it's dungeon or uh, prison or temple and what kind of sound background we have going on um, and click OK now I just switched it to temple right but we don't see it just hit the button so it's all preview it's all the temple except remember when we were placing objects like these doors they were the prison door so they don't match anymore. Um, you, know, you can go change all your doors, uh, or uh, I'm just going to change it back to the dungeon. And I don't care if the music is the temple for now, but there we go. Everything looks good again. Um, let's just hit Z to open that door. And then we're on this little dead end. And what I'm going to do here is add another level. So let's go up here to level one and right click on it. And instead of properties, We'll just do new level, and there we go, level two. It's blank. It's right down here. Click on level one. There's level two. And we're going to make some stairs going down to level two. So, stairs, dungeon, prison, temple. Stairs down. You see, all these arrows are pointing up because that's the lateral direction of the stairs. They're just default pointing north. But it's the icon, the picture, that's saying whether it's a stairs that go up or a stairs that go down. The stairs that go up, you can see some steps, some little tiny steps. And the stairs that go down, it just looks kind of like a pit because the stairs are going down out of sight. So we'll select these stairs down, and we're going to put it in this square. You have to put it in an open square of a hall, not over here in the dark gray in the walls. You don't, We don't put it here after the end of a hall. You put it in the end of the hall. And then the arrow is the way that you would walk into it. You'd walk into it when you're going west. So you make this arrow point west and click it. So there it is. So now we can select the stairs. There aren't any properties. You can just rotate it now if you needed to with Q and E to make sure it's going the right way. In order for this to work, of course, we need to have some stairs on the level below it, some stairs that go up. Now a shortcut besides going up here and clicking level one and two is hitting page down, page up. Um, hit page down, page up, page down to see where that spot is. So if we're on uh, draw walls, then we can make sure we draw the walls there. And you want it to continue in the same direction so that when you head into the stairs, when you come out here, you'll keep coming out that way. And then you can have whatever rooms you want over there. So let's add a torch over here for some light and we'll make sure it has a torch and let's add those stairs. Dungeon stairs up and remember the arrow needs to point the direction you would walk into it if you're on this level. So if you're on the second level and you wanted to go upstairs you need to walk east and put it in the hallway not after the hallway in the hallway pointing east click. If we're down here, which I'll put us down here with the Y, we'd walk into that going up, and then upstairs, we'd come up here. We'd walk into it going west to go down and continue out. We should name level two um, the nastier sewers. Okay, they're even worse because it's farther down. All right, and let's play. So I only clicked play, and that means I'm still up here where I was just past that door. If I stop and play, that will put me at that new starting location that I have down there. Uh, so anyway, this is that room in level two. There are the stairs that go up. You can see me looking at them. I'll go up those stairs, doot, doot, doot. And then I come out on level one, if we look at that. I just came out of the stairs and I'm facing that door. I can uh, hit Z to open them, come back through here, back down. So that's it. It's really easy to mix up the, the placement and the direction of those stairs. 
So just be careful to keep in mind that it needs to point the way that you would walk into it and that it needs to be in a hallway and it needs to be enclosed. Uh, you can't have it be in, like with rooms right next to it here. Let's update that and play. Okay, so you can see right through the side of it here. When you're looking at it, it looks fine, but over here there's no wall and it's all messed up up there. So it needs to be in its own little alcove, uh, at least like that, so that you can't see into it from the side. And now another thing is you can't have a room in the corner like that, or especially behind it. I mean, obviously you don't want a room behind it because that will just uh, look really ugly. You can just see the stairs over here and they're kind of all busted. If you hide that spot behind it, you can't even just do that because of this spot right here in the corner uh, is piece of the stairs. And I guess you could maybe live with that if you don't care, but I think it looks kind of messed up. Um, so I personally would not do that. What you need to do is have it cleared all the way around the stairs and that way you're not going to see any of that buggy graphics near the stairwell. It's just fully encased in wall all around it. Something to consider when you're building your level.